welcome to a craft and chat Tuesday the 4th of August. I'm Amanda Fowler this is the Inspiring Inkin Facebook page. <coughs> with, a fro <coughs> with a frog in my throat clearly. <sighs> How are we all today? Is anybody here? Let's uh, check. I seem to have the volume on on my iPad which just uh, Let's just get rid of that. Yeah, okay. Let's have a look. Who is here? Right. Rosie's here, Roz is here, Faye's here, Chris is here. Hello, hello. Welcome or welcome. So, <gasps> I've forgotten something. Close your eyes. Oh, hang on. is very important and I forgot <laughs> Merry Christmas they got bells on them okay I'm very excited because I'm gonna be talking about Christmas today so um yeah I do do we need a bit of cheering up a bit of festive cheer I won't wear the antlers all the time because the jingle bells will, they will uh, drive you all crazy. So let's see who else is here. Mum's here. Hi, Mum. Um, Belinda's here. Sally's here. Trisha's here. Sarah's here. Debbie's here. Val's here. Julia's here. Hannah's here. Sally says I'm looking very festive. You've seen these ears before, Sally. Um, every year we go um, out for a team meal at Christmas. And the antlers always come out then. So, you know, I just love them. If, if, if I could wear them all year round, I probably would. But there we go. Okay, so what have we been up to since last we spoke? Leave some comments for me. Um, hopefully by now you've all received your autumn winter catalogue. I had lots of emails about people sort of curling up on the sofa with a with a cuppa and their catalogue and their list <laughs> their long list because it's a great catalogue it is wonderful really really good um so if you've shopped with me in the last 12 months you've automatically got a catalogue in the post so if that's you and you haven't got a catalogue then please let me know um, and if you've never shopped with me before, but you would like to shop with me, I would love to send you a catalogue. I can only send them though to people in the UK, France, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands. So if you're in one of those five countries, I had to count them, one of those five countries then please um, let me know and uh, I'll get one in the post to you. So Alabama is in the house. <laughs> Sally says she's seen my reindeer antlers just a few times. Yeah, every Christmas. Um, oh, Faye's having an anniversary meal tonight. That's lovely. Oh, and Sarah's making a French onion tart. Delicious. A virtual team meal. Yeah, we could do that, actually. A Zoom meal. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. Um, and Val is card making, mainly Christmas and a few thank you cards. <laughs> and Debbie says I'm mad. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> and Paul says he's, he's sweating in Italy with all, and you know, and we're talking about Christmas. Yeah. But it's lovely to be warm though. I don't know what the weather's doing here. It's been really warm, but it's gone all grey and, and, and crowdy. Crowdy? <laughs> Cloudy. And Karen's here as well. Hi, Karen. Okay, so what have I got to tell you? Um, the catalogue launched today. Um, if you shopped with me in July, 
then you will have probably received some bonus codes. Make sure you use your bonus codes when you shop in August, okay? As otherwise, you won't be getting your discount, so you need to do that, so make sure that you do that. Um, we don't seem to have any stock issues, whoop, 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 on any of the products at the moment, so shop to your heart's content. Um, I always say with these um, mini catalogues or seasonal catalogues, always get everything that you want as soon as you can. Because we get towards nearer to like Christmas or whatever, festival, holiday, whatever, and, um, and then things start going out of stock and then that makes you sad. Um, so yeah. So always, always get the things that you want straight away. And then I'll show you lots of other stuff and you'll want that too. Um, Jen is here as well and Jenny's here as well. Awesome. Okay, so this is part one of three lives. So I'm live today, live tomorrow, live on Thursday at two o'clock. Um, what I'm going to be doing is sharing like a product suite mainly with you. I'll be making a couple of projects. I might make three, depends how the time goes, how much chatting we do. Um, just so that you can see um, things a bit more up close. So, the first, my first question is, what is your favourite stamp set in the, in the book? I would love to know. So leave your comments in the, in the um, comments. <laughs> leave your comments in the comments, yes, please leave your comments there. Um, whilst, whilst you're doing that, I will let you know what I've been up to. I've done a quick 600 mile round trip to my parents up in Lincolnshire. Um, so we have had some fun times. We've been doing sorting and clearing and also managed to get some ice cream and several walks on the beach and I brought, I brought home some uh, Lincolnshire plum bread and some cheddar for Brian um, and it's the best cheese cheddar he's had in years so it's very excited so we went um, you might have seen on Facebook or Instagram I had the most delicious ice cream it's called Farmer Brown's um, and the dairy there also sells the cheese to local cheesemakers and it was a local cheese so it was really really yummy so yeah so I, I've been away for like four or five days I don't remember <laughs> it's been a while um, and I was flying solo so yeah lots of driving um, but it was lovely to see mum and dad um, it's been a while, this whole COVID thing has meant I haven't been able to visit, so it's it's been lovely. Um, and then I'm straight back in to launch. So this morning's been a bit bonkers, but we're, we're here and I found my reindeer ears, so there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so let's have a look. What are the comments? Um... <laughs> Rosie says if we have a virtual team meal there'll be virtual calories I like that plan ah so Faye is going to work and she's hoping to sneak in a bit of, of watching of us tomorrow Sarah saying in the pines is her favorite beautiful autumn is Sally's known for the holidays is Val love the doves Hi Carol, um, Snowflake Wishes Bundle says Chris, well you're in luck because guess what we're doing today. Um, the gnomes and life is beautiful, poinsettias say Belinda. <laughs> we're going to launch like SpaceX, yeah that was really cool, did you see that? Um, yeah, I wonder how much it would cost to go <laughs> In a rocket. I'll have to sell a few more stamps, I think, to save up. But I, I would I, I would really like to do that. Um yeah, okay. So lots of, of um love for poinsettia, which I never know how to say it properly. 
and Snowflake Splendor. Awesome. So if you missed it just then, the snowflakes are actually what we are going to be, um, I'll be showcasing today. Um, but I am going to show you a few other stamp sets and things that I really love as well. Um, I'm just going to have a quick whiz through the catalogue. Um, I have um, got a giveaway. I'm, I'm, I've got a giveaway each day. So today, tomorrow and Thursday. Um, to enter the giveaway, you need to leave a comment, <laughs> which so many of you are doing, which is lovely. Um, or if you're watching this on the replay, you can just email me and just say, can I be entered into the draw? So I'll do the draw um, the following day each time. Um, which because of the replay, the replay for today, Tuesday, won't go up till Wednesday. So the draw will happen on Thursday for Tuesday. So it'll be two days later, but I'll do it each day. Anyway, so this very interesting white box is what the prize is. And it's a demo exclusive thing. Okay, so you, my lovely customers, cannot buy this. It is a mini Stampin' Up guillotine. Look, it's so cool. It's really sturdy, but it's a diddy size. Um, it was um, a gift when people joined in, during celebration, um, but Stampin' Up have let demonstrators buy them. And um, obviously we can do things with them, like give them away as prizes. So that's what the prize will be. Um, and I've got three of them, as I said, so one each day. Okay. So let's see what else is on the list. Uh, Kerry's saying her favourite of the owls. And Sarah's saying stitched leaves. Yeah, those two are both on my list as well. Hi Lynn, lovely to see you. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera around. Um, I need to move my iPad and things and cover you over. So, woo, throwing stuff on the floor. So, let's cover you over first. And then move this around. Let's see. I'm hoping that's there. Right. My reindeer ears are gone, so I don't jingle. <laughs> Let's move that. Okay. Right. I think. Where are we at? You can see my cup of tea. Let me move my cup of tea. Hmm. So let me just move that out of the way. So how is that for viewing, everybody? Let me move that up a little bit. I'm hoping that you will be able to see nice and clearly. Let me know. Yeah, I've got a few thumbs up, that's good. Oh, Lynn, it took you a while to find me. Is it because I'm on my page, not in the group? Okay, right. So, this is the catalogue. Um, and it's the wrong way round again. <laughs> I think Stampin' Up! are always going to do their mini catalogues this way round. Um, it just feels weird. It just feels wrong. Okay, can you see all these post-it notes? These are all the things that I'm going to show you. This is going to be a real quick whiz through um, of what it, what I um, want to draw your attention to um, and then we'll get on to the crafting. So, first one, this is page nine. So if you want to play along, you can turn to page nine. 
Um, lovely sweet. There are little mini coffee cups and coffee holders and stamps and dies to match. Um, these are going to be great for gifting. Um, for, you can get all sorts of different things in there. So the paper cup is three and a half inches high and three and a quarter wide and then it tapers down to um, two and a quarter at the bottom. So it is food safe so you could put treats in there and what I was actually thinking of and I can say this because my nephews will never in a million years watch this video um, is to put some treats in one cup and some money in the other cup so um, and, and put it in a in in a little carrier like that so that's kind of my plan so I think that's going to be great for teens uh, the poinsettia um, several people mentioned this one this is page 14 and 15 um, and 16 actually lots of different elements here these little pearl gems are really pretty um, I will probably be showing you those tomorrow and this is the the stamp set so it's it's like a hand-drawn stamp set it's really lovely and there's amazing dies to go with it um, page 19 so this one Christmas gleaming you may remember this was a stamp set and punch pack and papers from last year and it was so popular it sold out I don't know like in October it was it was crazy it, it was like sold out in six weeks or something mad so they promised that they would bring it back sorry I'm slurping tea um, they promised they'd bring it back um, it's so beautiful this paper is incredible and it's uh, copper foiled as well you're going to love it and then it, and in fact some of the orders that I got in this morning included that already so lots of you have been um, liking this um, I adore this set here with or without the dies actually because I love this this font you know how I've been trimming uh, sentiments out of um, when I've been stamping this is really lovely it's a really lovely set so you're going to see quite a lot of that one as well trimming the town page 25 so we've got a stamp set and a die as well um, and some amazing papers now the stamp set is um, part of our making difference making a, making a difference range so uh, £2.50 of F, all the sales of the stamp set or the bundle or the whole suite if you buy the whole suite um, will be donated to charities uh, devoted to adoption, foster care and infertility. So this is what um, every year we have a, a, a charitable cause and that's what this one is. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, ooh. Da, da, da. There's a Highland cow here. Roz, I think it was you that was talking about the cow. <laughs> it's very cool um snowflakes so this these snowflakes actually aren't part of the product suite that I'm going to show you uh, later um, hang on let me just put it on something white so that you can see so these are there are two different colors and they're holographic and so this one to me looks like it's got quite a lot of green in it and then this one looks as though it's sort of got more purples in it it's lovely they are really really pretty so um <laughs> amanda's arrived she's saying better late than never jenny's got the highland cow um because she forgot I was on yes Ros good I thought it was you okay 
So um, page 35, there is a, an embossing folder. Um, it's called Evergreen Forest, really pretty. You're gonna be seeing plenty of that. Oh, and look, this is, this is what we're gonna be focusing on today. So I'll be coming back to this. Do, do, do. So many things, honestly. Um, I think it was Sarah that said about stitched leaves. These are fantastic. So you've got like a watercolour wash um, stamp set and then you've got these stitched leaves dies. And like many of our stitched leaves uh, dies, it gives a stitched edging on the leaf and also the outer. So you can use the outer, so if you can kind of, if you've got your catalog, um, you can actually see the stitched edging. It's really, really pretty. Next, oh, okay. So I know if you're in the UK particularly, um, or in Europe, that you probably won't, or there are not many of you that that do Halloween but seriously these Halloween sets are so cool this filigree bat is amazing um, so yeah love 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 that um, I adore these so yes you are gonna see a lot of these along with another stamp set um, and I'm hoping that I'm going to get to a card using this later. So we'll see. We'll see how far we get. If not, then I'll do it tomorrow. Um, next one. Oh, the owls. So Kerry was saying about the owls. Do you know, it's really funny because I'd seen them and thought, oh, yeah, they're cute. And I moved on. And then Kerry and some other team members were sending me pictures of of the cards that they've been making with them. And, you know, they were so beautiful. And they come with these dies. So you can get it as a bundle. Um, with, and bundles are always 10% off. But, so the, the owls are beautiful on their own. But here you've got... Um, three tags and you can cut out each set of the, the owls and there's a cobweb and some um, mistletoe and things as well. Really lovely, really, really lovely. So kind of an all year round set, I mean, particularly for like anniversaries and that kind of thing. Love it. Then, what do we have here? Oh yeah, so the corners love this sometimes we just need a little bit of something to put on a put on a card um this is is lovely this is going to you can see a lot of this one too and then today um i had a couple of orders that included this which is called the menagerie mix-up bundle and this is the full size of the image but you get all of these elements so there's one two three four five six there's six different noses there's different tails there's um two different body types there's different ears um hats and antlers and all sorts it's brilliant and then die cuttable elements for all of them absolutely stunning I think that the different things and the samples here are fab and just to say that all of the stamps all of the images um, that you see in the catalogue are true to size apart from when they say like this this is full size and this is 50% of the size okay um, and so if you are a fan of coffee so there's the other coffee cup set but then there's this one, which is really nice. And if you're into cute, you've got a skiing rabbit, a penguin. That absolutely will be Rosie's favourite. <laughs> and a little fox and a seal, which is really cool. 
um, really lovely stuff. So, hi Emma, hi Mel. Okay, so that's kind of my quick whiz through of my favourite things. Just so you know, there are bundles throughout the catalogue, but what Stampin' Up! have done on page 71 is they've put all the bundles here. And these are different samples as well to the samples that you see on the main page of the stamp set. So do check them out, but also if you're not sure if it comes in a bundle, then just have a quick look here and you'll be able to see, which is fab. And then the same thing with the catalogue, with the catalogue, oh, <laughs> it started already with the stamps. Um, you've got like a little bit of the image of the stamps and then the page numbers and then the dies and the punctures um, and the patterned paper. So it's like a glossary really. So if you can't remember what page things are on, go to the back, just have a quick look through there and you should be able to find, find it. Okay, so let's go back to Snowflake Splendor. Okay, so this is um, a product suite, which basically means that there are lots and lots of coordinating products. And um, what Stamping Up have done is they've put these swatches of colours so that we can easily identify what colours are in that product suite. So um, here you'll see there's balmy blue glimmer paper, the colours are in this uh, uh, paper pack and then you've got the stamps and the dies as well. So I'm going to show you everything that's in this product suite because I have it all. <laughs> um, and just to say if you are part of the August Craft Along, and so many of you are, which is wonderful, um, you're getting products from this suite, okay? So um, you will be getting some of most of the things from this suite, actually. So let's start with the papers, because these have to be seen to be believed. So, it's a 12 by 12 pack and you get two each of six double-sided designs. So I'm just going to quickly flip over all of them to see. Um, so, where you can see this is like a watercolour wash. What they've done is, in order to get this effect, it's called uh, salting. So they've actually done a watercolour wash and put salt on and that's how they've got these effects. And then they've made it a digital thing, a digital file, I guess, and then they've printed it. So really lovely. So uh, that's one. You can see more clearly here sort of the effect of the salt. Aren't they beautiful? Um, another one, this is such a beautiful background. We're going to be able to do lots of things with that one. Love that. And again, with another cool background. So here, where it's kind of gone like crystallised, that's the salt. Isn't it cool? Um, and then another one. And then this one. So, the papers are incredible. As is the glimmer paper. <laughs> so, um, this is balmy blue. You get two sheets um, and it is very, very sparkly. Really pretty. Then we have got, oh, sparkly ribbon. So this ribbon, it was, uh, let's see, it's, yeah, it's called the Snowflake Splendor Ribbon. 
And actually, I was really quite surprised when I felt this because normally Stampin' Up! ribbons are really soft. But this one, it's not scratchy, but it's kind of solid. Um, which means it ties the most amazing bows. Look at that. So it's like bouncy. And I'm hoping the camera's picking this up. I, I might bring it up a bit closer to see if you can see. But it's iridescent. So there's pinks and purples and greens and it's just so pretty. So pretty. Um, so Faye asked about the glimmer paper. Does the gl glitter come off? No. No, Faye, it doesn't. Look. It doesn't come off. It is possibly the best thing about the the glimmer paper. It, yeah, it's it's like, I don't know, it's really bonded well. It doesn't come off. It's awesome. Um, oh, did I? You just said, could I show you a bow? Sarah, do you mean me tying a bow or this bow? <laughs> Hang on. I just do a quick bow. You'll be able to see. Look. Do, 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 do. There you go. And then you can just kind of zhuzh it up. That's like a technical term. But can you see how bouncy it is? It just, it really holds it. So this one I did ages ago. Um, but it, it just really holds its shape. So you'll need something like a glue dot to pin it down. Um, but bouncy and lovely. Okay. So then, whilst we're on the sparklies, then there are these blue. Hang on. I'll get the catalogue because I don't know all the names of everything yet. They're called Blue Adhesive Backed Gems. Um, again, iridescent. Iridescent? <laughs> um, so there's balmy blue ones and Night of Navy, but they've got multiple colours because they're faceted. Um, they're really pretty. We're going to be using those in a bit. Then... The embossing folder you need this embossing folder seriously look at those beautiful snowflakes um they're a really nice size so for card makers they'll be brilliant for scrapbookers um smaller sections of it will work really well as well but they're really fine and really detailed so pretty And then we come on to the reason that I fell in love with this suite, which is the stamps and the dies. So you'll often hear me say that I love um, either really crisp, clean images or watercolour type images. Um, and this is a beautiful watercolory effect on the stamps. So you'll actually see that there are dots and it's kind of, um, I want to say it's kind of broken. It's not a smooth image. It looks like somebody's hand drawn it or hand watercolored it. So it's really pretty. There are some lovely sentiments in here and there's big elements and little elements. So um, there are dies to match and I'm just going to explain about the dies. So there are eight dies and three of the dies cut out snowflakes. So that one cuts out that one, and that one cuts out that one, and that one cuts out that one okay 
So these three dies are designed to cut those out. And then we have four, no, three dies that actually cut out snowflakes. So that's that one, that's that one, and that's that one. And then we have these two, which are super special. I mean, these are all special. These snowflakes are beautiful. But, let me just put those there. But this one, okay, let's do this one first. This one cuts out this. So it doesn't actually cut out a snowflake like that, it cuts out the imprint of a snowflake, which is really, really cool. And I know you're gonna ask me how big that paper is. And the answer is three and a half inches. Yeah, so that one cuts out that one. And then this one, <laughs> what did I do with it? Ooh. This one, you are going to have to wait until later. <laughs> no, I'm good. I will show you now. Um, but I will. Sh it, 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 this is two different things. So let me let me put it there. So can you see? So this one cuts out this. And actually what I've done is I've embossed it, but that's for a card later. So it's a sneak peek. Okay, but it makes an aperture. Okay. So the dies are amazing. Um, Chris is saying we could use this to make a stencil, absolutely. Um, it would work really, really well. So, let's have a look. Um, right, so just so, so you know, all, with the um, stamps, the image on the front of the pack is 70%. So, if you look, let's see. Let's see if I can find, so that one. So this is the actual size of this. And there's two sheets in. So what I do um, with photopolymer is normally I just get rid of this skinny sheet. Um, but because there's two sets in here, I always keep one in and then they can kind of stick together. Okay, um, right, so let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Uh, Sarah's saying that she ties bows differently. Yeah, so Sarah, I tie bows all sorts of different ways. The way I just did it was the bunny ears bow, um, but I've got loads of different ways of tying bows, so. Yeah, I think I think it depends what you're doing it on as well. So when I tie a bow in the air and when I tie a bow on a project, it's different. Okay. <laughs> Do I keep my dies with my stamps? I don't, Sarah. Um, I I have thought about doing it like that. So I know some demonstrators put their dies um, in in with their stamps because um, you can kind of put like a piece of magnet in here and put them in here but I tend to keep them separate because sometimes I use the dies and not the stamps or the stamps not the dies um, and then I keep all of my dies all together but because I'm sorting out my studio and my craft room and stuff, I'm having a bit of a move around of things. So I'm not exactly sure where they, the dies are gonna end up, maybe in a cupboard, 
Um, at the moment they're out on a trolley, but it's annoying me to because I have to kind of reach round to get into them. So dye storage ideas would be very much greatly appreciated if anyone's got any, any super ideas. Right, so let's do a bit of crafting, shall we? So I have pre-prepared some stamps. Ooh. I've got three colours of ink. So I have Highland Heather, Misty Moonlight, which I can't open, and Balmy Blue. And so the snowflake stamps are from obviously the snowflake bushes stamp set. But the happy Christmas I've got is from Itty Bitty Christmas. So I am thrilled that Itty Bitty Christmas made it into the annual catalogue. So it was in the autumn winter catalogue last year. And if you haven't got this yet, you need to get it because it has every kind of Christmas greeting that you could ever need. Um, I used this thinking of you at Christmas and this happy Christmas so much last year, but there are lots of different things. Um, and if you do tags, there's a to and a from and no peeking till Christmas. There's kind of some, some wavy ones and seasons greetings, all sorts of different things. Really super set. Get some cardstock. Okay, got ink on my hands already. It's taken me oh what two minutes from opening my ink pad. Right, so I'm going to stamp my Happy Christmas first, so that I can design the card around it. Um, because this is a photopolymer set, I am using my stamp and pierce mat. If you've got photopolymer stamps, using a mat like this is really key to getting a great impression. Um, you can use a mouse mat or a magazine. Um, these are really inexpensive and they are back in the online store as well. So um, pop one of those on your order if you don't have one. Um, I often get asked why. <laughs> why, why do I need one, Amanda? Okay. So, a red rubber stamp like this has got foam here. And what the foam does is it, as you put the stamp down, it kind of, um, it's like a buffer. And it sort of spreads the load and you press it down and it gives a really good impression. A photo, photo polymer stamp doesn't have that buffer, doesn't have that give. So, by putting a mat underneath it, you are replicating this. And that's what makes it work. Okay, so I am going to go full on Highland Heather. Although, yeah. So, let me show you this. Look how beautiful that is and you can see the watercolour effect um rule of odd numbers as always let me put that down so i'm only going to have three um and if you haven't come across that rule of odd numbers it is something to do with the way your eyes see um patterns so um, you'll hear gardeners and flower arrangers, they always put odd numbers. And it's almost as though when you have an even number of things, it your eyes expect it or your brain expects it to be nice and aligned and in straight lines. Whereas if there's an odd number, it accepts the fact that they are scattered. So where am I going to put that one? Just... Okay, and then I've got these little ones. I'm going to do those in balmy blue. Whoop. There we 
go. Okay. So, I brought both variations <laughs> of the card. So I learnt from last week when I didn't have the right colour to um, bring lots of different variations. <coughs> so, excuse the cough. Um, my hay fever has been really bad the last couple of days. The pollen here in, in Hampshire is really high. Um, I woke up sneezing in the middle of the night. That's how, how bad it's been. I'm just deciding to go this way. No, I think. And we're going to go that way. Um, yeah, so for, for some reason, the hay, the, the hay fever, the, the pollen's really high. And I guess it could be because they're harvesting at the moment, aren't they? So... Um, but yeah, waking up sneezing was a bit silly, really. So, I am just going to put that on there. And then I haven't... I haven't decided on whether to put snowflakes on yeah. or rhinestones, but I think we need a few sparkly snowflakes. There we go. Because everything at Christmas is better with a little bit of sparkle. So there you go. So that is a super quick Christmas card. And I'm, I have two types of Christmas cards that I make. So I make quick Christmas cards like this where I can make lots of them really, really speedily that they're flat to post and they're easy to, to get out. I also make quite elaborate Christmas cards um, for family and dear friends and, and that sort of thing that I will take um, a little, a little bit more time over and you know, they'll maybe go large letter because they've got lots of dimension on them. Um, but a handmade card is always appreciated, whichever type you make. Um, let us see. Oh, I might just have to put these on as well. <laughs> Look, yeah. Is that too much? Do you think that's too much? No, you can't have too much sparkle. Okay, so there's there's a, a, a quick card for you. Let's have a look. Um, right, so Anne is saying, if you're doing two different sizes of stamps, is it still odd numbers? For example, two times three is six, and then it's an even number. So, what I do, Anne, is I, I count them in their colours. So I've got three there and I've got five there and then five there. Does that make sense? So I don't do it in multiples, I do it in, in colours. Um, I don't know why, but that's kind of what I've always done. <laughs> Good, I am pleased you all approve. Hooray! Right, okay. I'm just going to close these up because I have managed to come, I'll be, <laughs> when I move into my studio completely, I will have things like wet wipes and stuff there, but at the moment, obviously, I'm bringing everything upstairs from downstairs and yeah, it's getting a bit messy. 
Okay, so let's have a look. Card number two. Again, a super simple card. Hopefully you're going to love. So this is um, Pacific Point, which is one of the colours in the paper pack. And look how beautiful that is. And you know, actually, you could just, let me get a strip of card here. You could just do this. Really loving this sentiment. Snowflake wishes for a Merry Christmas. Ta-da! Okay, so you could just stick that down, put that on, maybe put a little bit of bling on it, and it's fab. Because the paper is so beautiful. And you get loads out of a pack of paper. But I am going to do something a little bit extra. So let me do the inside. Um, I need to click my stamp though first. I just love, oh, I, I, <laughs> it's silly. I, I just love the way these stamp. They're just so pretty. Okay, so that's for the inside. That's for there. Oh, I'm nearly done. This is quick. So, here we go. Actually, it would work that way around too, look. Ooh, decisions. Hmm, okay. Well, you can decide because this is what's coming next. So I have got some, it's going that way around, some silver paper, silver foil. I have die cut that amazing snowflake in Whisper White and one of the lovely snowflakes that's going to go over the top with a gem on it. So let's have a look. What do we think? It's going to go there. My sentiment is going to come down here. That's going to go up a bit. So you're only going to see a teeny, teeny bit of the backing paper. But, oh, I like that. That's quite subtle, whereas this side is a bit more loud. Ooh, okay. So what do we think? <laughs> oh, I'm liking, I'm liking the subtle bit actually, because you can see more snowflakes. Let's flip it around again. I think we're gonna go with that because, yeah. You can see more snowflakes. So if I was just going to do like a snowflake on it, then see, look, this is <laughs> this is why you need to buy the whole product suite <laughs> when we've got them, because that and that would make a fab card just like that. And obviously what I'm doing is adding extra bits in it. But, you know, the, the dies, you've got different, different dies. Look, one, two, three, four of you all saying subtle. Hooray! That's good. It's good when we agree. <laughs> I am going to use my dimensionals and 3D this. Yeah, yeah, look. Oh, more votes and they're all saying subtle. Right, now I'm going to put a little bit to 
break and then snip a little bit of the dimensional off to go in the centre there because that's going to be hidden by that in a minute. Now, if you are worrying about using up all your paper, you could gut out the, the centerpiece there. That would be good. Um, and gutting means that you sort of punch out or cut out the, the paper where you're going to have this foil over the top of it. So you're not actually going to see it. Um, and it just means that your paper will go a bit further. Alright, so let's put that in there. And where did my sentiment go? Right, let's look at the positioning because we want a little bit of a gap there, a little bit of a gap there. Haha! <laughs> Sarah is saying you could just buy more paper. Yes, you could. <laughs> but that's what I do. You see, when I've got a favourite paper, I buy more, multiple packs so that I don't feel bad about cutting into it. But then I would say that about stamping up paper anyway, because what happens is they put they normally give you two sheets of every paper, so it does mean that you can have one to look at and one to chop up. Right, where did my gems go? Definitely need a big fat gem in the middle of that. Just there. Okay, so there is card number two. Looking at that, that's wonky. That is so wonky. Ooh, it's going to let me lift it up. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah. There we go. Phew! There we go. So, you've got obviously two die cuts there. You've got a bit of silver foil, silvery stuff at Christmas. Lots of people like gold. Um, I tend to work with silver. But last year we worked with that copper foil mostly um, and that was fab. Um, but I, I like the silver with the snowflakes basically because it looks kind of frosty. So, you know, so you've got a really quite a simple card and a slightly more elaborate card there. Right, so can I have a time check? Please, can somebody tell me what the time is whilst I have a slurp of my tea? Um, just so I know that I'm I'm not gonna keep you here for hours and hours. Although actually, I could I could keep stamping with this stamp set for hours. Right, so let's have a look. Oh, it's three o'clock. Okay, right, I've got a little bit of time then. Um, Sarah's saying the brushed metallic cardstock pack is cool this year too. I haven't got that yet, Sarah. What page is it on? Um, and I can show everyone. Okay, so I am going to uh, do this last card. She says, Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I've got all the bits for it. Da, da, da. Yes, I have. Okay. So, Flight of Fancy. I love, love, love this set. Okay. Um, and I love it because it's got a Christmas image with the angel. It's got a Halloween image. And it's got Valentine's image. And I know I only make one Valentine's card a year. Um, but believe you me, 
Brian will be getting this little cherub on his Valentine's card this year because I adore it. Um, and I love the witch too. Um, there are some little elements here. So there's like fireworks here with the witch and hearts and little snowflakes. Um, so let me get the pieces that I need. So I'm going to use the angel and some memento ink. I'm just going to stamp this first. And um, what else am I going to do? Actually, I'm just going to put a little snowflake there as well. Right. So I have got lots of blends here. I'm just going to do a little bit of colouring in. Um, but before I do that, uh, Sarah is saying page 45 for the brushed metallic cardstock. See, missed that. <laughs> so I, this Gilded Autumn Suite, um, we're going to be using in a craft along, I think. Um, so I hadn't actually got to this bit yet, but wow, that looks really good. So... It's bronze, copper and gold. Ooh, that looks really lovely. Okay, thanks Sarah. <laughs> I should put that on my next order. You see, you can keep looking at it and keep looking at that catalogue and you'll still find something else that you need. Okay, so I'm quickly going to color in this angel. Um, And I am not trying to colour within the lines, and I know that will worry some of you. Um, but I'm kind of going for like a watercolour, wash tie effect. I'm, I'm not really too concerned about this being perfect. She's got little blue wings, little blue shoes, and I'm just going to do a little bit there. And then I'm just going to do a bit of misty moonlight here on the roofs. And it goes quiet because when I'm colouring, I'm kind of concentrating. It's, it's one of those kind of weird things. Um, I just, yeah, I just find it quite difficult to talk whilst I'm colouring in. So I'm going to have some little grey buildings. And then I'm just using a really light touch with the pen and I'm going to put a little bit of, of the blue as well. Um, basically I'm just trying to ground the buildings because otherwise they kind of look as though they're in midair and she's supposed to be in midair but the buildings aren't. Okay so she's done, that's done. And then I have what I sh what I showed you earlier. So this is the die cut piece that I have embossed, and that is going to go over the lovely angel and go onto a card like so. Now I I liked that. But I did think, well, there are snowflakes or are those stars? So I thought well, what I would do is I would make 
her into a night sky. So, what I've got is a sponge and that's misty moonlight. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go over the whole sky apart from the angel. So, again, I'm just going kind of gently around her. And I've got the mouse in that piece of sponge again. And obviously you can go as light or as dark as you as you want. Just be careful where you're going kind of around the base there. And then you can replace that there. I'm going to bling it up again in a minute, but I need a sentiment as well. So, um, to use Misty Moonlight for Seasons Greetings. building this and what I'm what I'm going to do is uh, put this on dimensionals um, oop, and then stick it to the this layer and then stick that layer onto the card base And then we're going to get all the rhinestones and put all the rhinestones on the card. So let's see. I, I love, I'm, I'm watching myself on my iPad currently, and I'm loving the fact that I'm working in a six inch piece, <laughs> six inch square. On, on this desk. It's exactly how I craft. Exactly how I craft. Okay, right. So here we go. So because I might not have positioned this perfectly, let's have a look. Um, I want to lift that up a little bit. I'm going to put that right. So, so I'm just going to check on the back and I can see, so there's a tiny bit there that's going to show. So I'm just going to trim that off with my scissors. Um, nobody's going to see that. So let's just bend that up. Well, nobody's going to see it unless they take the card apart. I don't think they're going to do that. Oh, right, decisions. Decision made. So there, there was a choice there. I didn't ask you. Because <laughs> there was a choice between blue or purple. Of course, blue won. Of course, blue won always wins. I've been sorting out some of the storage for the studio and what colour boxes I'm going to have in my cubes. And it's like, it's not even, it's not even a competition. It's just, and they will be blue. Right, where did my rhinestones go? Okay, so we need a few rhinestones on this card. So I'm going to put them ooh, here on the center of these snowflakes. I'm going to put 
three here. First stars in the sky as well. Let's snip a little bit of edging for this sentiment. And then we're going to put even more sparkle on this card in a second. And then I will tidy up my desk so that you can actually see all three cards all together. Let's see. Right. So, that season's greetings is going there. And then, this is your friend. Hang on. If... Um, you want sparkle without the mess of glittery stuff. Um, this is Wink of Stella. And um, it's a mica powder. Now, the reason I've brought a new one to show you is because I always get asked this because they say it doesn't work. People say it doesn't work and because there's a little black ring that you have to take off. And it says it in the instructions, look. It says it in the instructions, but we're crafters, aren't we? But we don't need instructions. So let me just get a piece of card and get it started. Give it a shake, give it a squeeze. And then look, look at this lovely, you don't need to put that much on, but look how lovely that is. So I'm just going to put a little bit on part of her dress and her wings. Um, and maybe a tiny, few tiny specks around in the sky. And you'll just be able to see a tiny, tiny bit. You can um, do a bit of splattering as well that works or a little bit of flicking so let me see it's going everywhere but on the card Hang on. Okay, so let me clear up and bring all the cards back. Move the things to one side and then you'll be able to see all the cards made today. So we have got... It's all on the floor. So this is the first one. And the second one and the third one so hang on Let's put that in the middle and put those like that and then hopefully that will that will work for the thumbnail for the video <laughs> you'll be able to see them all how much is the wink of Stella Bay off the top of my head I don't remember um yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even like to guess, um, but I can send you a message when I get finished. So, I hope that you have enjoyed my cards and the uh, walkthrough or start of the launch of this catalogue. Um, if you've got any questions, then let me know. Um, I'm always happy to help. I've been actually getting a few emails from people with, with kind of card making questions and things. 
Um, so I would really appreciate it if you email me or message me and let me know if you've got any card making queries or paper crafting queries because I, I make lots of other things as well. I do memory keeping and scrapbooking and I make 3D projects as well. So um, yeah, I would be very happy to help. So let's have a look. Lots of people saying that they're liking the designs. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Faye, she's saying that she can never make her cards look as nice as mine. You're really kind, Faye. I've seen your cards and your cards are beautiful. Um, but we are always our own worst critic. Um, thank you. Oh, thanks, Sally. Faye, uh, £7.50 for Wink of Stella. Um, Ros is saying thanks as well. She's loving the new catalogue. And she's going to see me tomorrow. Hooray! Yeah, see you tomorrow, Sarah and Carol. Thank you. Um, thank you so much um, for all of your support um, in this crazy time, in this crazy world that we live in. Um, I'm really pleased that I can share a little bit of my crafting with you and I love to talk to you. So you take care of yourselves. I will see you tomorrow. Um, and let me know if there's anything you want to see or if you've got any questions. All right, take care of yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.